the Victory Studios in downtown Little Rock. This is Capital View. Welcome to Capital View. I'm your host, Roby Brock. Thank you so much for joining us. The state's top lawyer, Attorney General Tim Griffin, has had his hands full in recent weeks. Lawsuits, a new cold case unit, an upcoming cybersecurity summit, just a few of the things on his agenda. Joining me now is Arkansas Attorney General Tim Griffin. Good to see you. My favorite place to be. <laughs> on a Sunday morning, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. On any day. Let's begin <clears throat> with uh, some litigation that you've been embroiled in here. You filed suit against a, a company called Timu that has this application that uh, you claim they can read everything on my phone on that. I yeah. don't have a Timu account, so I'm yeah. pretty safe. But. I don't have a Timu account, Timu account, and uh, I don't let anybody in my family have it either. Look. Uh, a lot of people may think, well, they're just another online marketplace. Uh, they're just another online retailer like uh, Walmart or Amazon or some of the others. Not true. Uh, they are a, a data theft operation that is using online retail to get access to the data. And if you look at it, you'll see a lot of the things they sell are like effectively free. Right, they're cheap. You go, wait, it's cheap. Wait a minute, uh, it's cheap. It's probably cheap in I many. I get that car for $50, yeah. that's great. Yeah, so. it's probably cheap in many different ways. You think, why, how are they doing that? But why would they do that? Well, because you're focused on the product, they're focused on you and your data. And collection of data by retailers online, that's, routine consumer data, yep. you know, Walmart does it, I'm sure, Amazon, What's your whoever. fear of what they're doing with the data? What they're doing with spyware, malware, is they're getting access to what's on your phone. The code, the code of their app is even designed to avoid detection. And so, this is something completely different. Uh, this violates Arkansas Deceptive Trade Practices Act, violates the uh, Data Protection Act. And so uh, I would just say stay tuned. Yeah. That is your goal to shut them down or is your goal to get them out of business? Just stay tuned. Uh, <laughs> okay. we, uh, you know, look, uh, my goal is for companies not to be thieving and stealing yeah. uh, Arkansans stuff uh, and not to be misleading Arkansans, deceiving Arkansans. And look, but this is a national problem. Yeah. Uh, I think what you're going to see now that we've done this, because I believe we're the first in the country, I think you're going to see a lot of other states say, hey, yeah, uh, we want to protect our people too. Yeah. Um, I don't think it looks good for this company. Thieving, that's a, and magnolia, Chinese, that's a magnolia term Chinese right there. Chinese communist. So. Did I say that? Did I tell you that they're, okay. I want to make sure you know that. These, right. are, these are not your neighbors. All right. Okay. Let's talk about a PBM case that you've uh, had ongoing here. What is your, tell me what the thrust of that lawsuit is and what your ultimate goal is for that. Is it monetary? Well, what the heck is a PBM, right? A lot of people a are probably going to, no, I know what it is. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm telling them. I didn't, you know, uh, if you weren't in this business, you may not know, but let me tell you what, we all are dealing with PBMs, whether we know it or not. They are, they are between the manufacturer of a, of a drug, of a, pharm, a pharmaceutical, and the pharmacy and you, and they, they manage uh, this uh, distribution, et cetera, and access uh, to these drugs. And there, I have a lot of problems with PBMs, including my own personal military uh, TRICARE insurance. Uh, uh, that's a different deal. But in this particular case, we have sued them over opioids. Yep. And you may think, well, I thought all, all that opioid litigation was pretty much done. Well, it is pretty much done, but the PBMs who bear a lot of the responsibility, if you, they were never included. And so I was like, wait a minute. So it was just the pharmaceutical companies that were originally well, included in yes, that. Well, yes, the, the companies and some of the, and some of the downline right. uh, pharmacies. Yeah. But <laughs> it's, it, it's like you see these three people at a, at, at doing something, and you go for two, and you go, ah, the third one was in the middle of it, but we'll just wait. I couldn't, underst 
understand why that the PBMs were not front and center in these actions. And so we took care of that, filed suit, and we'll, we'll have a lot more uh, to discuss on that. But um, their role was not secondary. Their role was uh, center yeah. stage. I want to make sure we got time to talk about this. You have an upcoming cybersecurity uh, summit coming with some international appeal, it's I would gonna say. It's going to be huge. In, uh, in it's going to be huge. I don't need that impersonation. So, so tell me what's coming we, to Little Rock. We had, remember, we had 1,500 people at our uh, human trafficking summit right. a year ago. We're going to try to do a summit each year emphasizing a key, one of the key issues. Big, big summit. We hope to be bigger than 1,500 this year. Cybersecurity Summit in October, a Monday and a Tuesday. I think it's the 7th and 8th, whatever that Monday and Tuesday are. And we have kicking it off. We have the head of CISA, the federal government's head cybersecurity expert, Jen Easterly. Mm -hmm. I've known her for 33 uh, years. Uh, and... Um, and she's awesome, Rhodes Scholar, West Point, Lieutenant Colonel, uh, incredible, incredible person. She leads the, the, the Cyber Security and Infrastructure Security Agency, and she's going to kick it off on that Monday. We've got a commitment. Uh, I don't know if I can announce this yet, but we've got several go of go our it, so. several high-profile elected officials from the federal level uh, we've got a senator committed, U.S. senator. We got two. What's somebody going to get out of this members summit? of Congress? What are, what's a, a participant well, get let out me of tell it? you. So we're going to be doing this jointly with um, the Forge Institute. We'll be di digging more deeply in some breakouts separate from us uh, for the experts. But this is going to be for everybody. If you have a computer, you ought to think about coming. If you have an interest in the safety of your data in everyday life you ought to think about coming if you have a small business mm -hmm. and you want to know what do i need to do should my password be password should <laughs> right. i run certain kind of virus checks you ought to be coming we're going to send invites out to sheriffs county judges mayors uh chambers nfib everybody ought to be coming to this it will be accessible not overly complicated uh, detailed Silicon Valley talk. It'll be what people who are going about their lives outside of this industry, what everybody, including you, including this station, what everybody needs to know about the threat, where the threats are coming from, how they're going after us, how you can protect yourself in a, in a sensible everyday way without buying a you know, a billion dollar cybersecurity protection plan, how you can protect yourself and resources, the state resources, the, the, the local resources, the federal resources, what res the, the private sector resources, what's available to help people. Because here's the thing about cybersecurity, you can't just have some people protected and others not. For it to really work, every link in the chain has to be strong. So I hope you're going to be there not just covering it, but actually learning all about your computers. All right. He's Attorney General Tim Griffin. Uh, we have some information on that cybersecurity summit on our website, so talkbusiness.net. We'll get everybody you. to do that. Thank I'm you for sure being here with us. I'm sure it's cyber safe. It is. I'm sure it is for, for certain. So thank you for being with us. God, it's a pleasure. Appreciate it. All right.